But yeah. we are here now to talk about our, our main topic of the day, which is the Strix Scope 2 96 Wireless. I've been waiting. It really flows off the tongue, that name, by the way. <laughs> Does it, though? I, you know what? I even dropped off the ROG part of the name. There's just so many titles. Like, that's three titles in one. You could have just called it the 96 Wireless. Been like, I mean, don't get it twisted. It needs all those things, right? It's not the first so. scope. It's, it's not true. 100%. It's, it's true. not wired. It is not wired. Now, let's just confirm, though. There's no wired version of this, correct? Correct. Correct. So there's only the wireless version. This is our first ever device to come with the Omni receiver, um, which is something we'll, we'll touch on briefly. And yeah, Lane, let's let's dive in. So I'm a huge fanboy for this. I currently have one in the mail coming. Um, I had to write the article for this keyboard. And as soon as I did and I saw the specs, I decided I needed to have it. So I had to look up what a 96 keyboard is because I had never heard of that. I was aware of an 80% keyboard. I was aware of a 65% keyboard. Never once in my life had I heard 96. It is a 100% keyboard minus four keys. Insert, print screen, scroll lock, and pause. How often do you use those keys, Jake? You know, print screen, I used to use a lot more. Nowadays, never. Windows Shift S, right? You don't yep, need to hit print it. screen anymore, or you're yep. recording an actual video. Um, so the beauty here, is for me when I need data entry, I need those. I I need to have a numpad. It's it's a requirement. Me too. It has it, but it's shifted off to the left, and it's nearly the size of an eighty percent keyboard. It's it's the best of both worlds. So you get all the mousing space. Look at how much mousing space Jake has on the right. Yeah, let's just oh, hit the wrong button on my audio interface. But um, that's that's like you know, it's not a huge difference, but it makes a huge difference just having that much more. Like you said, for the mousing space, because here. You know, I, I run the risk of tapping into it, right? As soon as I start doing a bigger motion, I have to start favoring my arm further to the right. It's a little uncomfortable. I'm lucky to have enough desk space. You might not even have that much desk space to do that, but I that don't, much I have difference. I power on, on that side, so I'm constrained on both sides. Yeah, exactly. So that's one of the key features. Um, as you can see, compared to the... Uh, the animate above um, it's also a little bit more narrow so it's smaller in kind of all dimensions than a traditional 100 percent um, the other unique thing similar to the azoth which we uh, released recently is that it has hot swappable switches these are brand new they're the nx snows um, which are a refinement of the nx reds if anybody is familiar with that in chat um, it requires slightly less force to fully actuate. I believe it's 53 grams instead of 55. So you might not be able to tell, but it's a, it's a refinement of that original switch. You've used it a little bit, Jake. What do you think? I'm, I'm still waiting for the, my physical copy. I think I'd rather be more like 60 to 62 grams for the touch personally. It's just my okay. preference. Um, but it's, it's, I like them a lot more than reds personally. Um, it's keyboard feels really good. Nice and light. I'm, I'm pumped about the wireless factor. I am going to swap this to be my main keyboard. Um, I am someone that uses the F key in some games. So I'm a little curious about how hard it's going to be for me to adapt to not having that gap. Cause sometimes when you're reaching, you just reach and you feel the gap between the four and the five and you're like, okay, that's four, that's five. And that's kind of like how you get your, your frame point, especially when I'm reaching Fair. over to like F eight. Cause you know, I'm not looking at my keyboard, I'm just kind of going up and making that gesture. So I actually don't think it'll be too bad though. Um, I did use it a little bit over the weekend. Um, and it's just to get a, a kind of a taste for it, but I'm going to, like you said, these are hot swappable switches. So I will be putting in, Holy Pandas. I've never used Holy Pandas. I've ordered them. I want to try them. Uh, I'm trying to expand my horizons with the boutique keyboard life. And uh, yeah, I know those are some of the more popular switches. I think they're 60 grams. So I'm going to give those a spin. Very cool. Yeah, so hot swappable. Um, if you don't like uh, reds, if that's not your cup of tea, you can still take this keyboard and make it into whatever you need it to be. Um, and one cool thing here that we've added for the uh, Scope 2 96 wireless is every keyboard that we make comes with sound dampening foam. Um, it's just something natural, especially on a mechanical keyboard, to keep uh, acoustics and pinging noises down. This has an additional little layer of sound dampening foam on every single switch uh, on the corner. 
and that further reduces it. So it should be that kind of keyboard that you could take to the library if you were that kind of demon that took a wireless keyboard to the library while you were typing and not bother everybody. Um, I'm, very, I'm one... very, very proud of this like savage moment where I used to bring my blue switch mechanical keyboard to the, you know, all Mac live. I went to art school. So all the devices there were apples and I used to bring my blue switch keyboard and people would just stare like death at me. How do you have room for that? You have a laptop with a keyboard in front? Huh? I didn't bring my laptop. I used I used the Mac. I suffered on the Mac, but I brought my um, mechanical keyboard and mouse and plugged them into the Mac. That uh, yeah. People hated they, me. They, I'm sure they did. Teachers hated me, but they couldn't say no. There's there's probably a rule now for that. <laughs> you think I changed the rules? Keyboard must, must be underneath 65 decibels to, <laughs> to be allowed in the room. Uh, um, as, as one of our more premium keyboards, uh, this comes with uh, PBT keycaps. The uh, version that Jake has has PBT keycaps. Depending yeah. on your region, uh, it might be a UV-coded ABS keycap. So I don't want to say oh. every single one that we make is going to be PBT. It is region-dependent. So if you're concerned... Uh, Talk to your local um, ASUS representative, and they'll let you know what is available in your region. Um, per key RGB, customizable in Armory Crate. Jake right now is unboxing the uh, detachable wrist rest. Is it magnetic? I'd actually like to know that for myself. We're going to find out. I think it is. Yep. Just that looks slightly. pretty magnetic to me. Yep. Yep. Very cool. So depending on how much room you need for your wrists or how big your desk is, you can either have that or take it off. Um, like I was saying, per key RGB, fully customizable in Armory Crate. Um, one of the things that I found really cool about this writing it is that if you have RGB turned off, you can use the 2.4 gigahertz uh, low latency mode and still get 1,500 hours of battery life on this thing. I'm going to have RGB on because I like to have the the glow, the keys backlit so I can see what I'm doing in the dark. But that's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, it's more like 100 hours when you have RGB on. That's still really good. Um, in addition to the 2.4 gigahertz mode, which I would recommend if you're a competitive gamer, you can do Bluetooth with it or you can wire it um, if you prefer that or if you need to charge it. Jay, can you talk a little bit about the uh, Omni receiver that we mentioned earlier? That's the one of the cool new features of this one. Yeah, the Omni receiver is is going to be a device where you can use both, you know, your mouse, your keyboard, theoretically your headset as well, all on just one receiver. So you're not taking up multiple USB ports for those devices. But um, currently, this is kind of like the first product in the lineup, and we'll have more products to go with it soon. Yes. So instead of a USB dongle for this and a USB dongle for that, you're going to be good with just one. Comes with the keycap remover. That was um, pretty simple. So, yep. You just push Can't it down. It. And, then, and then the switch puller is on the back side, right? Yep. Um, so as a 96% keyboard, you lost a couple things. Um, one of those was print screen, which some people might need more than others. Um, what we've done is we've reset F1 through F5 with uh, pre-made hotkeys. Um, F1 opens your game bar. F2 print is print screen. Uh, F3 is recording uh, for your last 30 seconds. F4 starts and pauses that recording. Uh, sorry, not that recording, but just a, a longer general recording. And F5 is your mic uh, mute and unmute, which I desperately need because I have an analog mic uh, with a mixer and I don't have a uh, digital mute that's easy to find. I have to go into Discord every time I want to mute myself. I'll tab into mm. it. So having a dedicated mute button is going to be a godsend for me. Um, yeah, some people will. I missed will. that while Jake was taking uh, the space bar off. But the longer keys have stabilizers in them. So you can hit it anywhere on there. And uh, it should be a smooth button press. Yeah, but look what. at this. Look at this custom space bar that it comes in the box. Yeah. It's got the... ROG logo right on it instead. Of, I mean, the stock one that's on there is just, you know, standard space bar. But this one, you can see the RGB through it. Really, really cool. The fearless eye. 
I love it. Same. Wow, I'm going to have to get used to the multifunction mixer. I uh, come from a Logitech uh, G910, which has dedicated uh, play, pause, uh, skip, and go back buttons. This is a multifunction mixer, so it can either do that, it can change your volume, uh, or I believe lighting controls. Um, and yep. you can also customize that. As so there's did. this little um, bar right here between the numpad and like the enter key and backspace key where you can actually see which mode you're on. So as you hit this button and you toggle through, it's changing the icon of what it's set to. So right now it's on skip song and or you know skip forward backwards. This one's for lighting. So if I want to just adjust the lighting, at least it looks like a light. I thought that's what that was. This one is actually just scroll wheel. Um, and this okay. one's volume. So I'd probably keep mine to skip song all the time personally, because that's where I'm going to use it the most. But a lot of people will probably default to that volume. Um, it's all going to depend on the user, or you can just cycle through it with one click. Exactly. Exactly. Um, for those of you that like to customize, I'm not one of these. Uh, I pretty much just use the presets. But for those of you that like to customize, um, it has onboard memory. It is a wireless keyboard. You can take it with you anywhere. Um, you can save up to six profiles with five custom schemes. Oh, wow. Um, and on the fly Mac for recording. So if you decide, uh, hey, I'm playing Civilization VI and I need a macro for this, you can save it immediately as you're playing it. Um, and then if you go back to CSGO and you need a different macro for that, then you can save that one as well. Um, all the keys are also remappable, not just function one through five. So if you decide that you want something to do something else, totally can. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much got all the features you expect from an ROG keyboard. It's just cooler. Has your numpad, saves you some space, gives you wireless, gives you hot swappable switches, which is like the new premium ROG keyboard standard, I think. I think we've got, what, three keyboards that can do that? Started with yeah. the, the Flare um, Animate, and then now we've got it here on the Scope 296 and the Azoth. So those are the first three that all have it. And two out of three, you know, are, are rocking wireless obviously the uh scope animate does not have wireless but that one has a ton of rgb like that's one thing that you're going to get with this kind of keyboard you get this big light bar at the bottom and you get the enemy matrix in the top right corner so the power draw on that kind of keyboard is is definitely greater right there's just a lot more light in your face but you know using using a device like this still plenty of rgb still plenty of um personality right but it's a uh, wireless the best of all worlds. I was looking at the Azoth. I was thinking about it, but I just couldn't lose the numpad. So when this came out, interest was instantly peaked. I pre-ordered it. Damn. I love it. Love the dedication. I mean, obviously, I'm super stoked for this, too. This is something that um, they, they told us about when we went to Taiwan, and I was just like, I, I need that. I need that in my life. Been waiting months for this guy to come out. All I'm, right, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm looking for UPS and FedEx every day. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there's any little details we might have missed. Nothing huge stands out. It does have um, kind of the standard. So when you want to travel, you want to bring it, your your USB-C or USB-A adapter, the, the, do the dongle will just plug in right here for storage. So you can just bring it on the go. You won't lose it. Um, USB-C plugs in right in the back here. Um, it is a slightly like recessed um USB-C port. I don't know. It's just slightly different than some of our other devices. Um, works on the two, the Bluetooth and the 2.4, like you mentioned, or just wired. Um, I think Lane, you even mentioned that you you think you're going to use yours wired a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm going to use it wired all the time, uh, simply because I don't mind having wired devices. Uh, yeah. But 100 hours of uh, battery life with RGB on is nothing to scoff at. That's just charging once overnight, like once a week. So yeah, not no. terrible at all. I, I can't wait. And these things charge really fast too. When you charge it, it's it's quite quite fast. I believe that when you plug it in to charge, we can confirm right now. Uh, I believe that it lights up in the corner to kind of indicate. Yeah. So the green means it's charging. Um, and then I think when your battery's low, that corner I think flashes red, but only that corner. So it's like, hey, your battery's low. That's your indication that you actually need to charge it. Um, and then it'll it'll kind of progress as you're charging. So nice little feature without 
um, you know, being too distracting. But we do want to like, you know, all of our devices, like our mice will kind of flash red when they're getting low. Um, just want to let the user know, hey, you need to charge soon. So you don't suddenly have an outage and then like, oh crap, like my device is no longer powered. This sucks. I was in the boss fight. I don't want to lose power right now, guys. Come <laughs> Gosh, on. yeah. No, that would be a nightmare. Is the battery replaceable? That's a really good question. Um, I do not know. Do you happen to know, Lane? I want to lean towards no, but I also don't know, so I'm not going to um, say anything about it. Hmm. Look at that. I'm such a Bluetooth pairing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that, that gives you a bunch of different uh, status indicators. That reminds me of the Xbox. Uh, oh, it's even saying it. It's like, yeah, Strix S found. Pair? Yeah, um, do not know. We can we can look into the battery replaceable though. I'm not sure, but uh, I would I would guess no as well. But I, I honestly have no idea. Just kind of choose, just blown through. Is this the only keyboard stream today? Yes, but we have other keyboard streams in the future. We're always coming out with new stuff. The, the keyboard comes with the cable in the box. Comes with a USB-C. Right here. USB A to C. Comes with the keycap puller. Comes with the custom RG um, cable. Comes with the Omni receiver. So, comes with some nice options. The keycap puller is huge. I've had to pull some keycaps on a keyboard without one, and that is a pain. I've broken um, switches before. By Going using a like a butter, butter knife or something yeah. like, you yeah. know, I've definitely done that. But um, that was years ago. And I, I now have, I think, three keycap pullers. But this one's kind of <laughs> cool because it's got the, the tool, stop, the you know, the double purpose where you've got the switch and the keycap all in one tool, which is kind of nice. Definitely. Uh, cool. Well, I think we've we've gone through all of our stuff here. This is now for sale um just check your local retailers obviously we don't know every retailer in every country so we can't name them all here but this is on sale in many regions by now only for the last few days but the strix scope 2 96 wireless rolls off the tongue it really does 